Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Hope you're doing great. Continuing with our top 20 mix series. The common question now is, well, you just told me to set up these auxiliary submasters. Why do I need VCA masters too? Well, a few reasons. Number one, they take up no processing. Number two, VCA masters are used to control volume and muting. On an auxiliary submaster, if you turn up and down the volume, it may affect how the compressor works or change the sound of the limiter. On a VCA master, when I touch this fader and move it up and down, I'm only affecting volume. And an added benefit of the VCA masters, there's actually two added benefits, is if you have all your groups down to a one VCA master, let's say I have all my drums and percussion on one, all my basses on the other, all my guitars on the other, etc. I may have six or eight faders in front of me that I can easily control macro moves on a whole mix. So let's say you need to give someone a TV mix. You just mute the VCA master on the lead vocal and they have everything else done. So use VCA masters to help you be more creative and move quicker when you're mixing. Sounds amazing. Tonight, they're gonna. 